In the Game B space, we often talk about the world being in a meta crisis, lots of things going on that are not good trends. Income inequality has gone crazy in the United States since 1975. Suicide is the second leading cause of death amongst 10 to 24-year-olds. This is our nine planetary boundaries. We're already over seven of them with unknown consequences. This is from the uh, Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, their famous doomsday clock. They've now set it to 90 seconds before midnight, which is the closest to midnight it's ever been. So what does this have to do with us? Those of us who have been successful in game A and built up significant net worths, et cetera, it could turn ugly. It has in the past, and we're reaching levels of inequality and turbulence that anything can happen, including the mob going crazy and lopping heads. So keep that in mind as one of the risks that has to be in your risk management portfolio thinking. In game B, we try to apply complexity science to thinking about what's going on. And we talk about the current state of a civilization as an attractor basin. You can think of it as a very high dimensional representation of everything in society that in some sense mutually reinforces the state of being of that society. Another analogy I often use is think of it as like a metal salad bowl as the high dimensional representation of where the society is and a marble round metal object in the bowl. And as you move the bowl around, the marble goes up and down and around. But if you move the marble, the bowl too much, or if there's a too big of a shock to it, the marble could fly out. And I would suggest that all those shocks we're talking about and others have moved us to that red arrow there, which says we've come pretty far out of our stable attractor, and we're now at or near the unstable region where we could transition to another attractor basin relatively easily. Unfortunately, there are some bad pre-existing attractors. The ones I tend to focus on, this is by no means a complete list, is neo-fascism, neo-feudalism, neo-dark ages. We could have endogenous collapses like the financial system in 2008 and collapses due to environmental issues or exogenous events like a solar flare that knocks the grid out. So the whole idea of game B is to build a good attractor, a good place for the marble to land when we move from current tractor game A into the unstable region. And then we need to build an attractor to fall into, which we call game B.